So here in post, we have to add an owner here and we've already done that here. So everything is uh, fine here. Okay, so what we will do is, uh, yeah, I think this part we can close. Then let me go back to group here. And then right here, what I'm going to do is I will open up that. So because we've added an equal sign here, it means this is optional. So whether, wherever we used it will not get broken. So all we can do here is just add one more uh, owner thingy there. And I will duplicate this. We'll leave the ID there because this is me. It has to know who actually posted that. And then we'll just say owner is equal to. Now we're going to use group data here. So we'll say group data and in group data we want to get the user id it's not really a user id it's the id of the group itself okay so there we go so we have the id uh, and the owner here and the owner there so this is how it will know that the post belongs here so in order to uh to check if this has worked We've kind of ignored the cover, image cover for now, but let's post something over here. Let me just say something like, uh, uh, hello. A test post on groups. So of course it won't, it won't show this post here, but let's give it a shot. Okay, so as you can see, uh, nothing has happened here apparently. But if I go to my table here, let me uh, just go to the very last post. You will see that there is actually a post here. It says, hello, test post and blah, blah, blah. Now, if we go to owner here, you will see that we do have an owner there. So who is this owner? If I go, that's uh, number 37. If I come to users, I will find that this is the owner's user ID. Okay. So all we need to do is to change how we read posts on the group. So I will come down here to group. Where is this? Uh -huh. Oh, one second before I go here. User ID, um, let me come back to posts here. Uh -huh. So now the issue here is that the user ID remains my user ID. So this post will appear on my own profile. So let me click here and come to profile and you see, hello, a test from groups. So wrong place, definitely. So let's fix this in a moment. So I'll come back here. Let's see if we can get it to appear on our group. So that's easy peasy, actually. So get, uh, get posts. There we go. So post, get posts. Mm -hmm. So now right here, I have to know which posts I'm getting. Are they for my profile? Are they for my page? Or are they for the group? So what I will do is put a comma there and put a value there like group just so we know it's group if it was a profile we'll write profile if it's a page we'll write page so get posts now because we've used this get posts previously we have to make this value optional so that we don't break the other times we've used it so let's go back to the post.php and look at get posts here this is the one right here. So I will put an optional value here, which I will say type, post type maybe, post underscore type is equal to, now the default will be profile because that's what we've been doing all this time. So we'll leave it at that. So I'll copy this. So this is where it gets all the, uh, the query. So all we have to do is change the query. So I will put this here and leave it at that. But what I will do is I'll put an if statement below the query. So let me just duplicate the query here. And then I will put an if statement. I will say if post type, post type is equal to uh, group. Uh -huh. Okay, post type is equal to group like this. And then I will change the query. So it will no longer be this, it will be that. And then if I wanted to read posts for a page instead of a group, I would do exactly the same thing, put an if statement here, 
and say if post type is equal to page and then I will edit the query. So let's write a query that suits groups right there. So what I will do is say select all from posts, which is fine, where parent is equal to zero. This is good because parent equal to zero means it's a post and not a comment. So we leave that there. And user ID is equal to ID. Hmm. So now this is not important because let's come back to posts here because there will be many people posting on the same group. So we don't need to care about the user ID of the one who posted that. So definitely not. What we care about is the owner. So I will say owner where the owner is equal to ID. So what exactly is this ID? Let me come back here. So let's feed the appropriate ID. So here, this is all we needed to change. That's it. Owner is equal to ID and uh, we are done. So here, uh, the ID now will be changed to user group. Yes, exactly there. So this is good. Now, if I refresh my page, I should see a post down here. And sure enough, I do see a post with the correct name of who posted there. Okay, very good. But if I do go to my profile, I still see the same post over there. So I don't need to see that. So we need to fix that. Mm -hmm. So let's fix it. So to fix it, we won't add profile here on the profile page. No, because this is, profile is the default. So it's already added because we made it optional. So all we need to do here is just to make sure that we add one more parameter here. So it says where user ID is equal to ID and so let's put an and there. So this and uh, let's put another and. Okay. So parent is equal to zero. Owner should be equal to zero as well. So it should not be, it should not have an owner because owner represents a group or a page. So let me refresh this. And of course that post is gone from my uh, profile. But if I go to my group now, I will see it in my group. And so the, uh, because we are using exactly the same systems, you see that uh, everything works fine as it's supposed to work. So everything is already there. If I want to put comments here, I will go ahead and uh, put comments on this without a problem. Yeah, that, that's all I needed to do. And everything works as it is intended. If I click edit now, that might be a little bit of a problem. So if I click edit, uh, oh, actually it works here. Okay, we're going to come back to that for in a second and deal with that. Uh, oh yeah, uh, this is actually still working because, where is, wait a minute, because the user ID is mine. So it recognizes that this is my user ID here. That's why I am able to edit or possibly delete that. But in groups, you all know that there are admins and all that. So they also need to be able to edit and delete posts anytime they wish. So we will make sure we add that feature as well. But so far, so good. This is working. So in the next video, we'll look at how to actually change the profile image.